Good day, class. Our topic for today is all about addition and subtraction of integers. Again, when we say integers, class, these are the negative, the zero, and the positive numbers. Okay? So, it's very easy to add or subtract whole numbers. How about if we are to add or subtract integers? So, here, class, we have certain rules to follow for us to be able to get the sum and the difference of integers. So let's start off with adding integers. So adding integers with the same sign. So let's add first those integers having the same sign. To add them, we just need to add their absolute values and then copy the same sign. So from the previous lesson, we discussed what absolute values mean, right? This is the distance from zero. Therefore, our absolute values are always positive. Okay? So, assuming that the numbers are positive, so just add them and then copy the same sign. Okay? Let's have these examples. For example, we have 6 plus 5. So, here, of course, the absolute value of this is just positive 6. Here, it's positive 5. So, 6 plus 5, it's positive 11. Okay? So, it is 11, and as you can see here, the two same signs are positive. Next, we have negative 6 plus negative 2. So, it is equal to, as you can see, we have to add their absolute value. So, the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6. So, plus the absolute value of negative 2, which is, po uh, which is positive 2. Therefore, the answer is 8. Okay? However, we need to copy the same sign. And as you can see on our given, the signs are negative. Therefore, the answer should be negative 8. Okay? Next, negative 4 plus negative 1 is equal to, it's, ju uh, it's just the same way with our example previously. So, the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. Absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. So, 4 plus 1, that is 5. Okay? And copying the same sign on our given, it is negative. So, negative 5 is the sum. Let's now move on in adding integers with different signs this time. So, to add integers with different sign. Here is the rule. So, we have two rules here. The first one is to subtract their absolute values. Take note, when we are adding integers with different signs, we are to subtract their absolute values. Upon getting the difference, we now then copy the sign of the integer with greater absolute value or the number that has a greater value. For example, negative 2 plus 4, okay? So, by definition, on our first step, we have to subtract their absolute value. So, the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. Subtracting it from 4, okay, because we need to subtract from a larger value. So, 4 minus 2, that is positive 2, okay? And as you can see here, the one that has a greater absolute value is the 4 or the one that has which is greater is 4 and as you can see the sign of 4 here is positive therefore the answer is positive 2 another we have negative 8 plus 6 this time subtracting the absolute values of the 2 so negative 8 the absolute value of that is always positive so 8 minus 6 the answer is 2. Okay, did you get that? And by looking at the given, we have to find the number that has a greater absolute value. So that is 8. 8 is greater than 6, therefore we need to copy the sign of 8, which is negative. Therefore, the sum here is negative 2. Another example, we have negative 6 plus 4 plus negative 2. Here, class, we have two ways to answer this one. Okay? So, we can either add from left to right 
or simply add the like terms or those numbers that are having the same signs and then afterwards the different signs okay so maybe we should just do the latter part okay so adding the same signs that is negative 6 plus negative 2 so just add them and then copy the sign so that is negative 8 all right since we already have here the sum of negative 8 we still have plus 4 so as you can see they are of different signs so following the rules subtracting the absolute values of the two so we have here the absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8 minus the absolute value of 4 that is 4 so 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 however we have to copy the sign of the value that has a greater absolute value okay so that is negative 8 or the 8 that has a negative to it so this should be negative 4 did you get that so the answer there is negative 4 okay let's now move on to subtracting integers so in subtracting integers class let us review first the parts of subtraction okay so the one that is being subtracted from is what we call the minuend okay the higher value or the first number that is being listed in subtraction okay minus four okay four is the one being subtracted from the minuend okay and of course the answer is the difference okay so please do not be confused between these two okay so the subtrahend is the one being subtracted from the minuend okay so here in subtracting integers class we just need to keep in mind the rule kcc for k it stands for keep the minuend meaning to say do not do anything on the minuend just copy it okay however for the two c's it stands for change what do we need to change here for the first one we need to change the sign to addition okay Remember that this is subtracting integers, right? So for the subtraction sign, we need to change it to addition or to the opposite. Next, change the sign of the subtrahend, the one being subtracted or the second that we list down in the subtraction. Okay, let's have the following examples. So we have here 8 minus 4. As you can see, following the subtraction of whole numbers the correct answer is four how about if we try to follow the rules in subtracting integers remember we have to keep the minuend so just copy it from subtraction we have to change it to addition and then the subtrahend should be changed to a uh, to the opposite sign so positive 4 should be changed to negative 4 okay equals following the rules in adding different signs so 8 minus 4 is 4 and the sign that has a greater absolute value is 8 therefore we need to copy the sign positive so therefore they have the same answer okay so here Another one, negative 7 minus 3. So let's follow the rules. So the first one, copy negative 7. Change the sign of negative 2 or the sign of subtraction to addition. And then from positive 3, change it to its opposite since we change the sign or the operation to addition. We also need to, chi uh, to change the sign of the subtrahend which is positive 3 to negative 3 okay as you can see here we are now to add the same signs okay and in adding them we just need to add their absolute value so 7 plus 3 that is 10 and then copy the same sign that is negative 10 oh, sorry it should be negative 10 okay 
Next, we have here 5 minus negative 2 is equal to, again, change it. I mean, copy the menu end, change the operation to addition, and then from negative, change it to its opposite, so positive 2. So, 5 plus 2 is obviously 7. All right? I think this is the last example. So, here, 8 minus negative 4 minus 5. So, again, we have two ways to answer this one. It's either from left to right or subtract first the same signs. So, since we did the latter part on the previous example, let's now do the simplifying from left to right. So, 8 minus negative 4, that is... 8, copy the minuend, change it to addition, and then change it to positive. 8 plus 4, we have 12. Okay, and then bring down minus 5. 12 minus 5, we all know that the answer is 7. Okay, so for your assignment class, please simplify these 10 items. Thank you.